Hey everyone, it's Constable JM, and I'm here at YouthLink Calgary Police Interpretive Center in the Forensics Lab. Did you know that YouthLink has an amazing collection of bones and skulls that allows visitors to test their knowledge on forensic anthropology? Let's take on this challenge together. When bones are found and foul play is suspected, specialists in forensic anthropology are called. These specialists can read crime-related clues in bones, such as cause of death, inflicted injuries, or simply to identify a person by their age, gender, their height, old injuries, and other identifying characteristics. Here's a sample of YouthLink's bone collection. Over here, we've got two femur bones. Both have been broken. Uh, but there is a, a, a large difference in the two of them. You can tell here that this bone was broken in the past. Uh, so it has had time to heal, um, where uh, this one is more of a fresh break. So it very well could be related to the cause of death during or after. Now for our skull collection. The first one here is blunt force. So as you can see, there's some trauma here in the front of the skull and also the back of the skull. But just like our first femur, uh, you can actually see it's, it's, it's rounded and, and, and it started to heal. Um, so, so probably not the cause of death uh, for this skull here. Over here, we've got major trauma uh, caused by a shotgun. Pretty clear. Uh, this one here, uh, interesting story actually. Uh, this skull was found in the ocean and uh, they actually, the investigators actually thought that it was hit by a propeller. Uh, but the markings weren't consistent with a propeller, uh, so they did uh, you know, more research, and they actually found out that it was caused by a machete. And then eventually the body got thrown into the ocean. Thanks for joining me for another issue of Inside the Crime Lab. If you have any questions in regards to policing or forensic science, comment below.